Wind River stars Jeremy Renner as the guy you would call to investigate if your livestock has been mauled by wolves or some other animals in Wyoming and during one of his jobs in the Indian reservation of Wind River he finds a frozen dead body and so they call in newbie FBI agent played by Elizabeth Olsen and the two of them have to figure out is this a murder or is it not a murder and if it is who has killed this girl and so we have a pseudo murder mystery on our hands. Now going into this movie I knew almost nothing about it I knew it was a murder mystery and it had two actors Jeremy Renner and Elizabeth Olsen that I really liked and so I was excited for it and what I got was something that honestly surprised me. Wind River is written and directed by Taylor Sheridan, I believe that's how you pronounce his name. He has written some other well-written movies such as Icario, Last Year's Hell or High Water, and now Wind River. But he's also directing and this is one of his first times in a while directing a big movie and I thought that he did honestly a great job. As I said his other movies are extremely well written and I think that Wind River is a great well-written movie. I love the dialogue in this movie. There are just some scenes where maybe not a lot is happening, but the dialogue is so intense when two actors talk with each other. I was just so invested in what was happening. And yeah, as I said, this is one of his first movies directing in a while, and I thought he did a great job directing. There's just a certain tone that he has with his writing, and I think it really translated well into directing. Where it's like a crime western, I thought that he had some great direction in many of the scenes. And this does take place in Wyoming with great big wintry, snowy reservation lands. The cinematography in this movie is beautiful. Just looking at the mountains and the open whiteness of the fields, it is just beautiful. And the editing also. The editing mainly was just good. It was average. It wasn't great. But then there's a certain moment later on in the movie where you understand what's happening. And I just thought it was very well edited and well executed of how this director connects two different points in the scene when you think it's one thing and then it's not. And the realization of what has happened, I just think is great. Taylor Sheridan does a great job behind the camera, but do the actors in front of the camera portray this movie and what he's trying to get through? Mostly, yes. By no means, no one in this movie is a bad actor. No one has a bad performance. And Jeremy Renner does a great job. I like seeing him something not in an action film or a superhero film. I thought he had some great levels to his character and he continues to surprise me as an actor. And Elizabeth Olsen, I like her as an actress. I've only really seen her in the Avengers movies, so I haven't really seen what else she can do, but I thought she was good in this performance. There are some moments where she has some great lines and deliveries and I'm really invested in this character. And then other times she kind of just says lines. There are just some times where it doesn't mean anything to me and so she's a bit uneven, but she's mainly good. And one thing else I really liked in this movie is the teamwork between Elizabeth Olsen and Jeremy Renner. Elizabeth Olsen at first is shown as the fish out of our character. She is unprepared for the winter. She doesn't have enough clothes and so you think, oh, here's some comedy moments. But luckily she is still an intelligent badass character. She just doesn't know how to deal with the Wyoming Indian Reservation. And here comes Jeremy Renner's character who does know how to deal with the Wyoming Indian Reservation. So them together, both of them fill a void that the other character don't have. And I really liked how they were written, how they together could really solve this mystery. And I also thought that they had great chemistry. For any negatives of this movie, I can't really think of anything really negative about this movie. If anything, I could say there's some plot points in the movie that are visited upon, and then they're kind of never brought back up again. There's one point where Elizabeth Olsen is interrogating the two parents of the daughter who is found dead, and there's a certain moment that just escalates zero to like a hundred in a matter of a second. And while I understand this is probably what parents would do grieving, but it's so extreme, it's never brought up again. And I was taken a bit back by it, and I wanted to see what else these parents were going through, because that was an insane, intense moment, and they never dawned upon it again, so I was a bit disappointed that. And there's a plot line with Jeremy Renner, his ex-wife, and his kid. They have in the beginning of the movie, and the relationship with Jeremy Renner and his kid, you think is going to go somewhere, and it's not that it doesn't really go that way, they just don't explain it at all. Jeremy Renner's kid in this movie has a presence in the movie for the first 30 minutes, and they have a certain conflict that they kind of dawn upon. But then, he's not in the rest of the movie. I don't know why I'm so focused on this kid, but it was just so irritating because I thought they would have a nice character arc with Jeremy Renner as a dad with this kid, but it's not like they just poorly executed they don't talk about it at all. Where does this kid go at the end of the movie? I don't know. And I felt like Jeremy Renner's character could be so much deeper if his son wasn't in the movie. Because Jeremy Renner has a connection to the parents who have the dead daughter, and I feel like if this son wasn't in the movie, it would bring so much more depth to Jeremy Renner's character. I don't know why I'm so hung up on this kid. It just really bothered me. But yeah, Wind River, I was pleasantly surprised with this movie. I thought it had great direction and writing. It had a lot of good performances in it. It was beautifully made, and it had a deeper meaning to it than I wasn't expecting in this movie. Some side points, especially one with Jeremy Renner's kid, wasn't really very well developed, but overall I adored Wind River. I thought it was a great intense murder mystery film. Hopefully it will get an Oscar nomination for at least a screenplay or hopefully something more down the road, and I can say that Wind River is a great movie.
So guys, I'm sad to say, but this is actually my last review of the summer that I'm going to be doing. Thank you everyone so much who stuck with me along the way. And I'll probably do this again next summer if I'm back home. And maybe during the school year, I might do some reviews if I see an early screening for something. But thank you so much for everything. I couldn't have done this without you guys. So that's Wind River. Have you seen the movie? Have you not seen the movie? Whatever you think, you can put in the comments below and maybe I'll read it. Maybe I won't. Thank you as always for watching. And if you haven't, you can click my last video right over here. And you can click my upcoming video right over here. That's right, do I have a secret upcoming review that you don't know of? <gasps> Thank you as always for watching. Hope to see you next time.